Photosynthesis presented by Vomica. Chloroplast structure. Chloroplasts are a type of plastid, a round, oval, or dish shaped body that is involved in the synthesis and storage of food materials. Chloroplasts are distinguished from other types of plastids by their green color, which results from the presence of two pigments, chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. A function of those pigments is to absorb light energy for the process of photosynthesis. Other pigments such as carotenoids are also present in chloroplast and serve as an accessory pigment, trapping solar energy and passing it to chlorophyll. In plants, chloroplasts occur in all green tissues. Though they are concentrated particularly in the parenchyma cells of the leaf mesophyll. Light reaction. The light dependent reactions, also known as photolytic reactions, use light energy to make two molecules needed for the next stage of photosynthesis. The energy storage molecule, ATP, and the reduced electron carrier, NADPH. In plants, the light reaction takes place in the thylakoid membranes of organelles called chloroplast. Photosystems, a large complexes of proteins and pigments. They are light absorbing molecules that are optimized to harvest light. They play an important role in light reactions. They are of two types, photosystem one, and photosystem 2. Both photosystems contain pigments that help collect light energy, as well as a special pair of chlorophyll molecules found at the core, that is the reaction center of the photosystem. The special pair of photosystem 1 is called P700, while the special pair of photosystem 2 is called P680. In a process called non-cyclic photophosphorylation, electrons are removed from water and pass through photosystem 2 and photosystem 1 before ending up in NADPH. This process requires light to be absorbed twice, once in each photosystem and it makes ATP. In fact, it's called photophosphorylation because it involves using light energy photo to make ATP from ADP. Here are the basic steps. Light absorption in PS2. When light is absorbed from one of the many pigments in photosystem 2, energy is passed inward from pigment to pigment until it reaches the reaction center. There, energy is transformed to P680. Boosting an electron to a high energy level. The high energy electron is passed to an acceptor molecule and replaced with an electron from water. The splitting of water releases the O2 we breathe. ATP synthesis. The high energy electron travels down an electron transport chain, losing energy as it goes. Some of the released energy drives pumping of H plus ions from stroma into the thylakoid interior, building a gradient. As H plus ions flow down the gradient and into the stroma, they pass through ATP synthase, driving ATP production in a process known as chemiosmosis. Light absorption in PS1. The electron arrives at photosystem 1 and joins the P700 special pair of chlorophylls in the reaction center. When light energy is absorbed by pigments and passed inward to the reaction center, the electron in P700 is boosted to a very high energy level and transferred to an acceptor molecule. The special pair's missing electron is replaced by a new electron from PS2 arriving via the electron transport chain. Any DPH formation, the high energy electron travels down 
a short second leg of electron transport chain. At the end of the chain, the electron is passed to NADP plus along with a second electron from the same pathway to make NADPH. The net effect of these steps is to convert light energy into chemical energy in the form of ATP and NADPH. The ATP and NADPH from light dependent reactions are used to make sugars in the next stage of photosynthesis, the Kelvin cycle. Thank you.